causing friction, shock waves, triggering the birth of stars. There's order in this chaos, a pattern behind the infinite variety, an endless cycle of birth and death, creation and destruction. It's a pattern woven through the vast fabric of space that binds each of these galaxies. There are billions of galaxies in the universe, each with billions, even trillions of stars. Possibly more stars than there are grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth. And all of these are just the stars that exist now. What about the stars that have been and gone? All the stars being born, yet to be born. We're finally beginning to see the big picture, and it's grander than we ever imagined. This galaxy, the huge pinwheel galaxy, is so far from Earth that if we send a message home now, it'll take 27 million years to get there. Who knows whether our species, our planet, will still be around to receive it. Most likely not. We travel on, back through time. Past the point where the dinosaurs were wiped out. Past the moment where the first creatures clambered onto land. Two billion light years from home closing in on the edge of the universe, going back to the beginning of time. This isn't a galaxy. It's brighter than hundreds of galaxies put together. A blinding beam of energy bursting out for trillions of kilometers. Something this big, this bright, must be incredibly powerful. Experience tells us, out here, power equals danger. It looks like a quasar, the deadliest thing in the universe. If it is, then our journey could be over, just as the end is almost in sight. The deadliest, most powerful thing in the universe. A quasar. A swirling cauldron of super hot gas, brighter than hundreds of galaxies. The source of this awesome power lies deep inside the heart of the beast. A heart of darkness. A supermassive black hole, as heavy as a billion suns. It's ripping apart whole stars, sucking their gases into the quasar, devouring them. Until they're nothing, lost forever from the visible universe. We've seen the worst the universe can throw at us. The most powerful and destructive forces the universe produces. Now it's on to the very edge of the universe. It's almost within reach. We'll need to go further. Go faster if we're to cross the final reaches of the known universe.
Eight billion light years from home. More galaxies. But these look different. Ragged, small, close together. We're so far back in time, we're seeing these galaxies as they were before the Earth was even born. They're still young, still growing. We're getting closer to where and how it all began. Twelve billion years ago. Look at the galaxies now. They're more like primitive plankton floating in a vast, dark ocean. It's magical. Clouds of dust and gas, dancing, forming a shape, merging to make embryonic galaxies. This is how our own galaxy was born. They're disappearing. We've gone back before the stars were born. Into a cosmic dark age, and before that, light, the afterglow from a massive explosion, the explosion which created the known universe. We're almost there. This is it. We've made it. The edge of the universe, 130 billion trillion kilometers from home, 13 and a half billion years ago. The very instant of the Big Bang, the most violent, most creative moment in history. Everything that's ever happened follows from this moment. Every religion, every culture has pondered it. But we still don't know what sparked this act of creation or why. This is where our journey ends, and the universe begins. An infinitely hot, small, dense point erupts. Creating space, time, matter, our universe itself. First, it's the size of a subatomic particle. The tiniest fraction of a second later, it's big enough to hold in the palm of your hand. Moments later, it's the size of the Earth. Today, the light from the Big Bang is still spreading out as a hiss of radio static. Your TV aerial picks it up. You can see it as static on an untuned TV. We go on forwards through time, riding the blast 